today, right. look around. This is what happened. Right. So, uh, what, say something. Yeah, absolutely. So I have the opportunity to be walking the yard with this man when he was starting to change. King Tone was still in the yard, and I got in a program called RDAP. Gang bangers don't join programs. And I went with my little Puerto Rican fat self and tell the kings, nine months off, I know math, I'm going to the program. They said, oh, you going to go in one of them snitch programs? I said, you call it what you want. I call it nine months to home. So then Sean, he sees me, how I'm dealing with my brothers in the yard. I keep them away from the dope game and from all those things that were going to give them bad habits. So when they come home, they will still be prisoners in their mind and their hearts. So I started fixing them and he would come. He told me, you know, we're going to do this in the street. We're going to get this together. You know, we would talk this dream and everybody in the yard called us crazies. You know the crazies? The Christ crazies and all those crazies that believe in something different. You're crazy before you're real and true. They think you're crazy, so we were the crazy ones in the yard. But we didn't start changing when we came home. We changed it there. We already had the plan. We already been touched. We already did the worst that we could do. Like he said, we destroyed our parents' dreams, our names. We done everything. But we had this pride about us because God still had a plan. And he helped me, and I helped him find how we would articulate the plan. My wife go, why you still take his call? He always says you're going there. It's been two years. I said, he's on it. <laughs> right? So look, it happened. But do you really believe anybody in the yard, if we would call them back and they would see a picture, they would believe that me and him was talking about this in 2000, 2001, 2002? Don't kids, don't stop dreaming. Talk about it, be about it, and then make it happen. Actions, words are, we could pray and we could say everything, but Jesus needs us to move. We got to get out there. So you're the messenger now. You're the credible messengers because he made me a credible messenger when he gave me that hope. We could do it together. So please join us on this march because we could bring the message and talk to the kids, but then you got to love them when we leave because we're not from here. You are. All right?